Okay, let's start with the cerebellum. The cerebellum is located at the base of the skull. Its functions include coordination of voluntary movement, balance, and equilibrium, some memory for reflex motor acts. Schwa -schwa. Whoa! You better watch it. And now for the cerebral cortex, or as other people call it, the frontal lobe. Right under the forehead, its functions include uh, how we know what we're doing within our environment, our consciousness, and how we initiate activity in response to our environment, and judgments we make about what occurs in our daily activities, and it controls our emotional response, controls our expressive language, assigns meaning to the words, You done yet? Excuse me. As we choose. Involves word Art. associations, memory for habits, and motor activities. That's so much. Okay. I can do this, I can do this, I just gotta use my higher level thinking. I can do this, gotta use my frontal lobe. Okay. Do this, I can do this. I can do this. And now for the occipital lobe. It happens to be at the back of the head. What are its functions? Vision. Then, of course, there's the parietal lobe, um, near the back and the top of the head. What are its functions? Location for visual attention, location for touch perception, goal-directed voluntary movements, manipulation of objects, interrogation of different senses that allows for understanding a single concept. What did I touch? My hand. What did I touch? My back. <gasps> now what did I touch? My shoe. Hi. And now for the temporal lobes. It's located on the side of the head and above the ears. What are its functions? Hearing ability, memory acquisition, some visual perceptions, categorization of objects. This is a cell phone. This is chocolate axe. A penguin. This is a piano. This is a cat looking itself. This is a mirror. Whoa. A toilet. Two fans. A fat chair. A cock. And now for the medulla. Or as I like to call it, the brain stem. What are its functions? Well, <coughs> it's located in the lower part of the brain, adjoining and structurally continuous with the spinal cord. The upper segment of the human brain stem, the pons, contains nerve fibers that connect two halves of the cerebellum. It is vital in coordinating movements involving right and left sides of the body. Below the pons, and continuous with the spinal cord, is the medulla which transmits ascending and descending nerve fibers between the spinal cord and the brain. The medulla also directly controls many involuntary muscular and glandular activities, including breathing, heart contraction, artery dilation, salivation, vomiting, and probably laughing. <laughs> oh, why am I laughing? And then there's the midbrain, or as I like to call it, middle ground of my thoughts. The midbrain is the middle of the three primary divisions of the brain in the embryo of a vertebrate or the part of an adult brain derived from its tissue. Next, there's the pituitary gland. It is cherry-shaped. It affects all hormonal activity within the body. Yes, hello? Margaret? You like me? You no way, girls are gross. Wait a minute. You have a pituitary gland. I do? Oh yeah! Yeah, I like you too. In the hypothalamus, a region of the brain between the thalamus and the midbrain that functions as a main control center for the atomic nervous system. It regulates sleep cycles, body temperature, and appetite. Nom nom nom. And then there's the cerebrum, which is the largest part of the brain. It's consisting of two halves or hemispheres, right and left hemisphere, and serving to control voluntary movements and coordinate mental actions. I'm going to slap myself now. Oh, bad. And then there's this really long word, the corpus callosum. Well, it's not that long, but it's very difficult to memorize. Anyway. Now you gotta think about this. There's the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere, and they both do different things. And they work together to, you know, make you smart or whatever, but here's what each one does. The left hemisphere deals with language, math. How are you today? 
I am good. How is I? Good. Logic. The right hemisphere does face recognition, visual imagery, and music. Thank you.